Today, I'm at Tug Wagaf to learn everything there is to know about Qatari culture and what makes it so unique and special. Hello, my name is Shayma Sharif. I am the Managing Director at Embrace Doha. Tug Wagaf functions in the same way that it did for the last 100 years. You'll find the spice market, the perfume market, the textile market, utensils, and so on and so forth. This is one of my favorite shops. It's the same family and it's gone down from father to son. We're going to look at a very special spice, but this is what we call a Qatari mix. So there are 22 different spices within this particular mix and every family has their own mix. What we are surrounded with today is something called sadu. A sadu is a very special way in which women would weave pieces of cloth. It's inspired by the local surroundings. You have al awarjan, which is the sand dunes, and then you have here in the middle this wonderful tree, the shjara. And this tells a story. Each symbol has a specific meaning to it that women would then weave in. We're at the Falcon Souk here in Souk Wagaf, where we are surrounded by some incredible falcons. I'm really lucky to have Garnusha here, an Iranian falcon. Falcons are extremely important to the family life. They were used traditionally to hunt. Today, falcons are the most expensive birds in the world. Our next stop is the perfume shop. This case here is filled with a special type of wood that has been infected with fungus. And what you get is this, oud. The smells are very sweet and strong, and it's a perfume that's used for clothing and hair. Our next stop is this very busy food square. So we're gonna try something called khubzragag, a thin bread. Mm. Ah like home food. It's really tasty. I definitely need a cup of tea with this. I've had a wonderful time showing you all of my favorite spots here in the souk. I hope we've learned something new together. I can't wait to welcome you all here in Qadar. <laughs>